say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the home of the the Thank you, Gina, for that wonderful rendition of the National Anthem. Uh, we like, now like to have an invocation by our chaplain, Clay Felsitas. Good morning. Good morning. I know you can speak through these things. I've got to take mine off. It is a blessing to be here today, and I'm very thankful that the American Legion and the VFW asked me to speak, to be the chaplain for today. There's two chaplains here today. The next one will come up in a while, but this is the one that will do the invocation. I'm so thankful. Before I pray, there's some memories that come to my mind on this Memorial Day. It's a different Memorial Day for me. For the last week, I've been tossing and turning when Ron Gillette asked me to do this. Tossing and turning because it's a different time, it's a different situation. Almost 100,000 dead coronavirus, almost. 75 years, World War II, over. The war is a different kind of war. But like I said, welcome today. I'd like to recognize the mayors that are here and the distinguished guests to my left. They'll be introducing themselves in a little bit. But welcome to all the dignitaries and every one of you that came this morning. I come to mind before I pray, like I said, there are three vets. I don't know if you all know, but on this flagpole are the Livermore Vietnam vets that are posted on the plaque. But three vets come to mind this morning. One, Clay B. Felicitas. USS Hornet went down in the battle. Two, Connie Bernicell, USS Indianapolis, ship went down in that battle. And my brother-in-law, Mike Peck, who passed away in Vietnam. I pray today, as we begin to pray, if you'll all bow your heads with me, our freedoms are not free at cost. And we remember today those who have passed in the time of war since 1776 to present day, people are still dying in the war. I don't call it a conflict. Vietnam to me is not a conflict. The first time that blood was shed in Vietnam, that was a war. And I'll always think of it as a war. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you today for this beautiful day. I thank you, Lord, that our mayor and our veterans decided to do this today. I know we take our lives in our hands by coming out today, but it's a free choice, and I thank you for that choice. I pray, Lord, that you would begin to bless all of the families that are here today, whatever their need may be. But for the veterans that are here today, I thank you for every one of you who have served, women, the men, and all that are involved with the military. I thank you, Lord, for the first responders, 
the doctors, the nurses, ambulance workers, police officers. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I remember the first time I raised my hand in 1969 that I would uphold the Constitution of the United States and serve my country. I'm still serving my country. We as a people, I pray, Lord, that you begin to let us remember, especially the veteran today. Memorial Day makes us remember our comrades at arms at the time we did our battles, wherever we were. Sometimes we have restless nights like myself. I have post-traumatic. I cannot stand to be in a confined space. Can you imagine, Lord, what I'm going through right now? And I thank you that you're helping me go through this time. I pray, Lord, for all the families that are going through those struggles right now. The mommies and daddies that are very involved with their families. I pray for these young people right now that are going through this time and not understanding why. But most of all, Lord, I'm praying that you begin to move our nation in the right direction. Give our leaders direction, Lord, on how to have us move ahead safely. But I pray most of all for we as a people, as the Bible says, love one another as yourself. And I'd like to end with this in John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, that they lay down their lives for his friend. Freedom is not free. Freedom to move forth is not free. When we fly, fly that flag and we look at these colors, those represent different things. But to me, that blood of that red represents my brothers and sisters that served and that are still serving today. My prayers are for the grocery workers, the farm workers that are out in the fields, all those that are doing what they need to do to put food on our table. Be blessed today. Before you leave, give somebody a peace symbol. Share their love with an elbow touch or whatever it may be. But remember, pray for one another. You don't know who needs that prayer at the house next to you. And the last, I always say is the last, but it's never, I could talk all day. But I pray, Lord, that we would take the time to recognize the veterans. When you see a man or a woman wearing their hat or their cover, it isn't because we want to show off what we did is because we're proud that we served our country. God bless you all today. Be blessed. Thank you, sister, for the Star Spangled Banner. Bless the rest of this program. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Gilmore. I am the commander of the VFW Post 7265. I would like to welcome everybody to this year's memorial tribute to our fallen brothers and sisters. Since America's entrance into World War I, over 25,000 Californians have been killed in defense of our country. This year, we celebrate 75 years since the end of world's greatest conflict, World War II. On May 25, 1945, Nazi Germany surrendered to the Allied forces, ending the war in Europe. A few months later, Japan would also sign an instrument of surrender on the deck of the USS Missouri. September 2nd, 1945. Since the end of this conflict, American service members have fought and died in the snows of Korea, the jungles of Vietnam, and the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan. We honor them with this small but meaningful tribute. The monument at the base of this flagpole here at Carnegie Park was originally dedicated on May the 10th, 1958, in honor of Company I 5th Infantry Regiment, National Guard of California. The company not only comprised of mostly all Livermore residents, but was also financially supported by local funds and the community. This monument would later be updated to honor America's war dead from World War I, Korea, World War II, and Vietnam. Here today, we American veterans of Livermore shall honor the tradition of decorating the graves as prescribed in General Logan's Order Number 11 with the presentation of three wreaths. 
Here to present a wreath in honor of VFW Post 7265 is Michelle McCumber, wife of Vietnam veteran Chuck McCumber. Presenting a wreath in honor of American Legion Post 47 is Janet Bowerly, life of a, wife of American Legion member Lloyd Bowerly. And here to present a wreath in honor of Livermore Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution is Wyletta Nixon. We shall now have a reading on the meaning of General Order Number 11 by VFW Chaplain Mike Reel. He will be followed by a short speech from Dublin Mayor Dave Halbert and Livermore Mayor John Marchon. General Order Number 11. General John A. Logan, known as the Father of Memorial Day, issued General Order Number 11 on March 3rd. 1868. The order called for a national day of remembrance for Civil War dead. That order serves as the basis of what we recognize today as the national holiday of Memorial Day. The first line of that order reads, the 30th day of May 1868 is designated for the purpose of drawing with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died in defense of their country during the late rebellion. Logan was instrumental in the founding of the Grand Army of the Republic, a veterans group comprised of former Union Army soldiers. The last line of order number 11 reads, department commanders will use every effort to make this order effective. Today, as veterans of America's military, we continue to recognize General Logan's order as the national holiday of Memorial Day, which honors all American soldiers who died in defense of our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank Livermore VFW Chapter 7265 for putting on this amazing event today. In the midst of a pandemic, we can still get together and celebrate and remember those who gave it all for our country. And that's the first thing I would like to say. We remember those who gave it all for our country, for our freedoms, for our way of life, so that we can stand here today in a park, maybe six feet away from each other, maybe wearing a mask, whatever it takes. We are here because of them. We remember those who gave it all. The second thing I would remember and call our attention to is that freedom is not free. That's what was mentioned earlier before. There is a cost to our freedom. And those who gave it all know that cost. To the families of those who gave it all, you know that cost. And we remember and we pray for all of them. And then the third thing I would say is that the world knows that we stand at the ready to again give it all if that's what it takes. Because that's what we do in America. We will defend our freedoms. We will give it all if that's what it takes. It's my honor to be here, but it's my pleasure to introduce to you one of my favorite people period, and your mayor, the mayor of Livermore, my good friend, Mayor John Marchand. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, it is a different world. It's a different time. And when, Mike, uh, when Commander Mike Gilmore called me uh, and said that he wanted to put on a, a small, respectful ceremony, uh, he was suggesting there would maybe be about 10 people. Uh, and we're looking at about 20 times that, at least. Uh, because Livermore, we are Livermore, and we stand up for our veterans, and we stand up for this community and this nation. Zoom has become all of our own, our best friend lately, so we're all attending Zoom meetings. Uh, I was in a Zoom meeting earlier this week, and as someone signed off, they signed off with, have a happy Memorial Day. And I thought, 
how curious that sounded. Happy Memorial Day. We, we all know what Memorial Day is. It's a day of reflection as we contemplate the sacrifices made by those men and women of our armed forces and remember those who died in service to our country. But instead, Memorial Day has become the unofficial start of summer, a day to celebrate retail sales, or at least it used to be, uh, the beginning of grilling season, and what once was the running of the Indianapolis 500, but not today. Livermore was founded by, and it was named for, veterans of armed conflict. Two years ago, the city of Livermore held the groundbreaking for Stockman's Park in the middle of our downtown. Last summer, we held the ribbon cutting for Veterans Way, which will lead to Stockman's Park. This summer, we will hold a ribbon cutting for Stockman Park, which will celebrate the contributions of the Stockman and the veterans of our community of Livermore, Pleasanton, and Murray Townships, veterans who served this community and served our nation and will forever have our gratitude. Memorial Day has become a lot of things, but we remember what it is, and that is why we recognize it today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave, and thank you, John, for all you do to help support our local veteran community. As we conclude today's ceremony, I want to thank all who helped make this modified event possible during this time of national emergency. Unfortunately, there will be no quilt presentation at the Veterans Hall following this ceremony, but we will hold one as soon as county restrictions are lifted and it is safe to do so. Please join me in welcoming back Gina Collinsworth for the singing of God Bless America. She will be followed by a 21-gun salute from our combined honor guard of the VFW and American Legion, followed by the playing of taps by our bugler, Henry Jean, a Vietnam veteran. As commander of the VFW Post 7265, I thank you all for your continued support. God bless America, a land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, the land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home. Sweet home. Detail, cut. Port, home. Setting. Aim. Fire.
Thank you, everyone. This concludes our small but meaningful ceremony. Have a great rest of the day and try and stay cool. It's going to get to be 100 today and tomorrow and the next day.